Okay, I got AutoCAD 2018 and I'm trying to create a dynamic block that I can stretch and rotate without it looking all funny. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out, but I wanted to create this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the general structure of my block. And um, maybe I'll just start with a, a circle. And I'll put it here. And then we'll copy this to the other side. Turn the other one just to bring it over. Um, so I'm going to get a center snap here and bring that over. Okay, turn or throw back off. I'm going to do a line work at the quadrants. And then over here, 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 and here. This is basically how I wanted it to look. And then, uh, so right now, what we're going to do is type uh, B for block. And then this window is going to pop up. We're going to title this uh, delete this block because I don't really care for it and I want to get rid of it later. So things we're going to check, specify on screen for the base point. Although if you don't do this, your block's going to be off in space somewhere. So it's going to make it real difficult when you try to go and place it. You can always go back and um, insert block and drop it down once you select the name of it and check this. It, it'll edit it and correct it later. Um, the objects we're going to specify on screen because I haven't selected anything, we're going to convert this to a block. Behavior, we're going to leave it alone. Um, and then we also want to open this in the block editor. And so we're going to hit OK. So down at the bottom here, it's going to say uh, specify insertion base point. And right now I want that to be the center of this circle on the left hand side. So I'm going to select this as the base point. Now I need to select the objects. So I'm select all these. All of them are selected. We'll hit enter. And it's going to enter into the block editor. I bring my palette over. Okay. And then from here, I need to start specifying some things. And the first thing we need are some parameters. In order to make this a dynamic block that this can rotate um, and stretch. I want it to rotate in about this circle here, so basically the center point of this circle. And I want this to stretch. We're going to leave this set alone. So first thing we're going to do is add parameters. This are for, you have to have parameters. And um, we're not going to worry about linear stretch or rotation. That was the confusing part for me. We're going to go to polar. So select your polar. Well, and I'm just going to pick the center points of these two, drag this down here, and that's it for that. Now we go to Actions, we're going to do a Polar Stretch, and we have to select the parameter, down here is what it's asking us to do, so select this little blue line down here, and then um, we're going to select the point to associate it with, which is basically where you want your little grip to be, um, and it's going to be over here, so this is going to be the one grip that's going to pull or stretch or rotate or whatever. So select this one. And then it says to specify the first corner a stretch frame. And this is where things can get a little tricky when we have to specify what gets stretched and what doesn't. So I want these lines to stay attached to this circle. So um, this took some figuring out. So I'm going to just come to the inside of this line I'm going to turn off my snaps. So I'm going to select outside of here, but um, not at the quadrant. So just to the right of that vertical line there. And then we're going to drag this box all the way over here. And we're going to come to the opposite outside of here, this box. And select that. Okay, so that's the region that will get stretched. And then we have to select our objects to be stretched. So we select this one, this one, this one, this one, and the circle. So I want those to be stretched. So I'm done selecting those. I hit enter. Um, select objects to rotate only. So we got to select these objects again. I don't want the circle to rotate on the left, but I do want this one to rotate. So let me hit enter. And specify action location. Again, it's going to be right on top of uh, this grip over here so I can turn 
uh, snaps back on. And we'll just snap right there. And that should be it for that. Um, if you're wondering how to get these to turn on, um, there is a command. It's uh, the letter B is in Bravo, action, bar, mode. Hit enter and then type zero. Um, and it'll bring up these little tags. If you have a lot of these in your drawings, get rid of them. Just clean it up. Because that's what's something that was throwing me off a little bit. Um, and then, uh, let's see, action, uh, mode. Oops, that's a B action. Bar mode. Hit enter. We can set this to one and they disappear. The action bar mode. I set it to zero and they'll reappear. So we can go through and clean all these up and then they'll disappear. Um, so that way it's not really confusing the dynamics of your block. So now we want to go through and make sure that this block is going to work the way we want it to. So let's go test the block. Click test. It'll open it up. Just waiting. Okay, I'm going to select this block, I'm going to grab my grip, and now I can rotate this and stretch it without it looking really weird. Again, this was the polar stretch. It was a polar parameter, polar action stretch. Okay, and close the block, hit no, don't save any changes to it. You'll come back into your block editor, and... Uh, Still waiting for this thing to reload itself. We can save the block and close the block editor and you're done. If you do have to go back through and edit those uh, boxes, we can uh, right click and action selection. We can modify set selection and then it says specify first corner of stretch frame. Uh, and then we can go play around with where we want that box to be, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna close this block editor. And if I need to go and insert the block, come up here to our ribbon, go to insert, go to insert again, go to more options, and then your window's gonna pop up. You can select the block that you want. Insertion point, we can specify on the screen, which is exactly what we want. Scale, we'll leave it alone. Rotation, we'll specify. We'll place it where we want it, give it the rotation that we need, and it's there. Now, if we want to remove that block, type in purge. This is not in the block editor, this is in your main drawing. Just hit purge. Um, we'll come up here. This screen should appear. We'll go under blocks, and we will find should find, uh, uh oh, oh, it's in the drawing, so. Um, this won't let me delete it right now because it's actually a part of the drawing, so let me close out of this real quick and we'll delete these items. Hit purge. Window should come back up. Delete this block appears. And we'll hit purge. You're about to purge, delete this block. What do you want to do? I want to purge it. And now it's gone. So all my work that I just did, gone. But uh, if you have some extra blocks in there that you created and you're like, oh man, all these other ones are trash, this is how you get rid of it. And that should be it. Hope it helps.